I am Ethlyn with Black Cat Ranch. Um, today I am going to go over the essential oils that I personally use in a thrush mixture that I, I use with the horses um, with all the wet weather we've had. So whenever I clean their hooves, they get a couple drops of this on their hooves. I don't do it daily. Um, anytime the farrier leaves after he's finished trimming or shoeing their hooves, I put it on. Uh, it's just, it's a great all-around mixture for any type of fungus or bacteria in horses' hooves. So, I use an old bottle that has been used many a times. Um, it is an amber glass bottle. It is glass, so be careful around horses. You can get this on Amazon. I will put the link below. You can also use stainless steel. Um, as long as you are using quality essential oils, I personally use doTERRA, um, you need a glass or stainless steel bottle. Plastic is not going to do very well. So this bottle, it has a dropper top. Um, and so whenever I get low on it, I just I refill it and continue using it. I'll clean this off. I use the uh, on guard sanitizing spray. Anything that needs cleaning, I use on guard for. Uh, it's been so muddy here lately. Everything has mud on it. In this mixture, I use frankincense, on guard, melaleuca, and oregano. And I put a little bit of fractionated coconut oil in it. It just helps it bind to the hook. And then I also use apple cider vinegar with mother. Uh, this is personally the one that I pick up from the store. So to start out, I've cleaned my bottle, rinsed it out. I'm going to do Oregano, On Guard, and Melaleuca. I do 10 to 20 drops. Uh, personal preference. I don't get into the whole percentages and it has to be a certain amount. So I put my oils in first. Frankincense. I pretty much put frankincense in any mixture that I do. Um, it definitely does not hurt and there's going to be so many different properties it can help with. That one's pretty much optional if you don't have frankincense. It's, I don't think it's going to make that big of a difference. Uh, I just feel like I have it put you know, 10 drops in there and it can help something. Once I get all of my essential oils in it, it really it doesn't fill up just a tiny little bit of it. Uh, but these are pure essential oils from doTERRA, so I know that they have been tested very well. Uh, I trust the quality of them, and you do not need that much. Uh, if you go and buy oils from Walmart or the random store around the corner, um, you're not going to get quality. They don't have the test results like doTERRA will. Um, I personally wouldn't use them at all. I wouldn't subject a horse or an animal or myself to an oil like that. Uh, you just have no idea what's actually in them. So whatever brand you choose to use, just do your research and make sure that they are tested and they are quality oils. Because with quality oils, you do not have to use that much. So, I'm... This bottle that I'm using, it is doTERRA's fractionated coconut oil. And it has a small top that only lets a little bit come out. Um, something else I have at home, it is a pump top of fractionated coconut oil. I'll put the link to that. Uh, it's off Amazon. And with that, I just do a couple squirt. With the pump tops, it's a lot easier. This is all that I had with me today, though. 
This one's a lot easier to travel with. And then the rest of it will be filled with apple cider vinegar. And that's all that I use. So after you pour the apple cider vinegar in, you can put the dropper top back on, shake it up. Uh, anytime you use apple cider vinegar with mothers, it has a little bit of the material that separates. That is also going to happen in this mixture. So before you use it on your horse, shake it up. Um, that's really it. It's very simple. Right now, rainy season, we've had a lot of rain uh, over the past six months. Um, so pretty much every horse is having an issue with thrush. Um, I had the mix already made and had been using it, but even as just a precaution, anytime the farrier comes, I use it. Um, they, the farrier comes depending on the season, six to eight weeks. As soon as he trims, I put the, the thrush stuff on and put him back out. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, I store it out of the sunlight and uh, I just grab it when I need it. It's not something that I use every day. I apply it to the frog or even to the wide line, depending on what the issue is, um, and I let it do its job. If you if you have a chronic case, you could soak it in a cotton ball, put the cotton ball in the hoof, and then uh, tape it or put a boot on it, whatever you choose. Um, I have done that before. Typically, I don't really have a lot of issues where I have to keep it taped. Um, if it's an abscess, that's a little bit different. I've had a couple horses that have come to us with thrush so bad the frog is pretty much gone. Uh, when that happens, they get this thrush mixture on their hooves maybe every other day, every third day. And most of the time, within two weeks, you see a huge difference. Uh, so it's just a personal favorite of mine. It's something that we'll always have on hand. And I know that if I run out one day, nine times out of ten, I'm going to have all of those oils. Because those oils are used very frequently with us. Um, so then it takes me just a couple minutes to make the mixture and go about my day and help the horses. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment. You can message me. If there's anything I can answer, I would be more than happy. Uh, in the future, I'm going to work on some other videos with oils and how we use them. Uh, so stay tuned. And if you would like to subscribe, hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified of new videos. Uh, we would greatly appreciate it. Uh, so I, I use... The Essential Life book. Um, you can also get this on Amazon. I will link it below. This book is fantastic at breaking down each oil, uh, its uses, different properties of it, um, the ingredients, if it's a blend. So you can go through this and just kind of look at the oil that you're interested in, what properties it has, what it can be used for. This is mainly on people. There is a section in the back that has about um, small animals. I also have a couple other books that I use with horses, uh, small animals, and the emotions. There's a whole, a whole list of books that I use to kind of choose and guide me as to what I, I should choose. Uh, but this book goes with me everywhere. Um, it is like my oil Bible, basically. <sighs> if you are interested in using essential oils, send me a message. I'd be more than happy to answer whatever I can for you. Um, if you would like to use doTERRA essential oils and you are not working with somebody, uh, I'll put the link below and you can click on it. Uh, to sign up either as a customer or as a wholesale member. Uh, wholesale members, you will get a larger discount. You get all the perks, uh, free products, they do BOGOs. This is definitely the way to go. If you plan on ordering 
more than a couple oils, that is the way to go. Um, but shoot me a message. I'll be more than happy to help you get uh, signed up and figure out what oils you should order first. Um, if there's anything specific related to animals uh, that you would like to see what we use on the farm, um, comment below and I will work on making videos on that.